Hello everyone and my name is Gray Jabesi and I'm back for another tutorial. It has been a long time. Um, the last time I recorded a tutorial was in 2015 September and it was about DaVinci Resolve color grading and nodes and all those kind of things. But anyway, I'm back because I have been working for a very long term project and you know all those sorts of things I didn't have the time to record tutorials but you know I've learned so much through the journey of the project that I was working on I was working on a TV show I think it's a National Geographic TV show so I was doing 3D maps for them I used uh, a method called digital evaluation map so DEM um, those kind of formulas so I was creating physically accurate maps for, for that TV show for like 80 episodes. So as that went through, that's when I encountered this problem. What happened was um, on every episode that we do, when they, uh, they send it through, then there's a process called QC, quality control, in other words, where they have to check with the technology on uh, if, the, uh, if the actual program is appropriate technically to work on, the, on their distribution channels. So it happened that I was doing okay until one of the maps returned saying that it's unsmooth. Uh, their explanation was that uh, it's duplicating some of the frames, which is making it back and forth uh, on each frame, if you look closely, they said. But then that wasn't the problem because when I got the, uh, my map back trying to fix it, it didn't work. So, you know, I was, I kind of saw the problem, but it, it was kind of, uh, it's okay until I saw it on a bigger screen when the editors were viewing it. So it actually bugged me for a while because I looked for a solution everywhere and uh, the, you know everybody was talking about frame rate and sometimes if I render it on HD and send it to some friends in the industry they would be like to me it looks okay and whatsoever but if I render it at 4K in which was the format uh, I was working on the show it actually was looking shitty so I was like oh man I don't know how to go about this problem so I tried so many ways, you know, extending the, uh, the map to make it longer so that it's smoother, the camera isn't too fast, and re-render it, and then it, it didn't work. Even worse, I tried to make it faster to see if it's going to help, and it actually became worse. So I went on C4D Cafe, uh, for some of you who are familiar, uh, and this is the map actually that you can see the stuttery, or some of you call, call it Jada. I'm just gonna play it back. You can see how it looks. That's exactly how it looked. It looks really terrible. And on a bigger screen, on the TV screen, it was just worse. So uh, they sent it back. And they said I should fix it. And then I was shopping around the internet, hoping to find a solution. After I did everything I could, I went on CG, CG, uh, Cinema 4D Cafe, C4D Cafe, in other words, uh, and and these guys were. Uh, trying to help saying uh, what is your frame rate set to render settings output formats and all these things in which I tried everything uh, even though b even before I posted this problem on uh, on the cafe and then uh, this guy said uh, and there's always shatter and a stutter and my machine is 477 okay that's his processor and GDX 750 and I was working on a machine which is really a good one uh, I'm 64 gig of RAM and GDX 980 and they processor is just crazy so and then this guy said it seems like I have all settings in order I've double checked many times but just before and yeah that was me I was telling these guys exactly where I went and the, the problem wasn't going through and some of them were talking about uh, my compositing how am I compositing in After Effects After Effects imports some of these things at um, 30 frames per second when you're not intending to so I checked everything it just didn't work until one guy yeah it was this guy Catman Catman I think is a cinematographer so this is actually a cinematography problem you know the 3d map that I made is physically accurate first of all um, I can if you guys are interested to know how I make these maps uh, I can show you around there are many ways to go about it you use digital evaluation maps like Google coordinates or Bing whatsoever then you find textures and you just stitch them together um, so this area is bigger than 300 kilometers and I wanted to do this uh, camera tracking in about 10 seconds. So you can imagine moving with the camera in that distance, how, how fast are you moving with it? You know, that is the critical point of this. So this guy came and say, um, 
your animation is stuttering because the camera movement is too fast for the frame rate. This is a common feature real world camera operators like me face when shooting 24 or 25 frames per second. We have to be extremely careful how we move or pan the camera when shooting at these low frame rates. Your options are to slow down the camera movement, increase the frame rate, or your project or increase the shutter angle from 180 degrees to 270 or 360 for the above scene. Red produced a helpful guide that helps you to stay stutter free and it gave me a link right there. And they have the help about all this there. So I checked it out, I read, went through it and now I understand what was causing it. And then I got back to cinema and did exactly as he said, try to play around with a shutter angle. I think it comes on, on dif by default, it's like 180, so I increased it all the way to 360 and it did some changes, it helped a lot. On the I was running at 25 frames per second on that map, that's the frame rate target I was targeting to. And then uh, it helped, but there was a little bit of unsmoothness even, it was kind of like it would play smooth and then it kind of jumps around a little bit. So what I did, I just increased the frame rate, I played around with different frame rates from uh, uh, 60 to 80 so I ended up rendering this map actually at 80 frames per second and then I took it into After Effects and there I had to uh, to uh, you know make like time remap it just to make it fit the time that I was looking at I had like 10 seconds for for this area of the map so if you look here it's way more smoother than uh, it's just a little bit it looks a little bit jittery because of my screen recording going on but it's really smooth so you cannot compare it to the other one that I showed you. You know, it just shows how accurate that guy was. And I have to say thanks to everyone who was on that forum that day. You really saved my, my week or my month to, to be specific. Uh, and everyone else in the C4D Cafe, it's a really good um, place there for Cinema 4D artists to solve some problems. So that was about it. I hope this helps you to solve your own problems. But right before you go, I just want to show you one cool thing. Um, I started a podcast about lifestyle, travel and careers and nonsense, of course. Um, so I meet different people from all over the world. I live in Cape Town. So I meet all these people, then I have interviews with them. They're coming from different industries. So if you're a hustler like me, you know, you're trying to learn as much as you can and uh, improve your life, live a better life in health, worth, whatsoever you, can, you think of in art to improve. I meet so many people and I have conversations with them. I'm sure you would enjoy it. So check it out. Uh, it's called the Gray Air Podcast or TGA Podcast, or you can find it on my website, grayjabesi.com. I'll leave the link in the description. And also, if you want to see more of my CG-related work, I just started a new company, and we have a new website with my friend. It's called Emoji Motion, uh, and this is our website currently. There's so many things here from architecture rendering and um, uh, more graph and all these things. You can check it out there. Otherwise, as I said, I'm back for more tutorials. Just let me know which subjects or what kind of tutorials you guys would like me to do. I can do After Effects. I can do... Uh, rotoscoping in Mocha Pro or in Silhouette, I can do color grading in DaVinci Resolve, I can do cinema. So, you know, we can always learn together in these things. Uh, and, you know, we exchange ideas and methods on how we go about solving problems and getting better work out there. So, thanks for watching again. I hope you enjoy it. My plan here wasn't was to not spend more than 10 minutes on this tutorial. So it seems like I just nailed it. So just after that, enjoy your work. I hope this tutorial helped you. My name is Greg Jabesi and see you next time.